I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles profanities Before starting I thank Dex of Fleet Tunas. Without him making this video was impossible. He got Republic yesterday and today he let me play a Republic. You can see, yet ship is not upgraded and not equipped with equipment and commander. Hello my name is Sony. Asian server player. I welcome you to my channel where I will be uploading videos about important topics and some unique ships in very crisp and less time. Before starting hit like and subscribe. Well please comment below any suggestions or critics review, they are very well welcomed by me. Let's get started. Today I would like to address why people love Republic and why she is most fun to play. Also, please look carefully my position in game. I supported my team Destroyer and Worcester. First destroyed their defense and hold whole capture point. We focus fire so well which gave us early kill and we able to outnumbered enemy. Enjoy game, while well, I will tell you about Republic. Republic. French Tier X Battleship. A version of the battleship design of the post-war period. Her main distinguishing features were very powerful AA guns and 431mm main battery guns, which were developed in France in the late 1930s. On paper, Republique has a fairly unique playstyle compared to that of the other Tier X battleships. She plays quite similarly to the previous ships in the French battleship line, so lessons learned in the previous ships will be useful with Republique. She is primarily a flanker, relying on her mobility and good accuracy to punish enemy broadsides from unexpected positions. Her AP shells have the best penetration characteristics in the game up to 15 km, and second to Yamato, her AP shell, when coupled with her fast speed and good mobility, make Republic an excellent cruiser hunter. In addition to this excellent AP, it is worth nothing that the high explosive shells on the Republic are also surprisingly effective, having the good fire chance second to the tier 10 British battleship conqueror of 18% and a very good alpha damage. However it is more viable to fire the punishing AP shells and to use the he shells only towards angled enemy battleships. The ability to mount a speed boost consumable in rapid reload, coupled that with fairly good turret arcs, means that she is able to run away from enemy ships angled while still firing at them. Now come to my personal opinion on ship as that. Republic only has 8 431mm guns, which is to be honest not only decent. Yeah, the Kerfurst has 8 guns as well, but we all know that it should have been given 12. General dispersion on the guns is consistent for a battleship. I would put it between Yamato and Montana in terms of accuracy. But keep in mind that Republic is still a battleship, so dispersion shall still troll you. Secondary armament is very impressive, with both good range and damage, but maybe not German levels. The offensive capability of this ship, especially with only 8 main guns is quite limited. If it wasn't for the Reload Booster 3. It would be very difficult. Republic's Reload Booster cuts the reload in half for like 3 salvos. So technically at one point Republic can put out 24 431mm shells in 30 seconds. That is terrifying. Especially against crussy or caught broadside. Even BBs are not spared. The closer the target is, the deadlier these guns become. However, without the booster, Republic's firepower is just decent. It doesn't get the 460mm guns of Yamato, nor the heavy broadside of Montana. In short, without booster this is average ship. But with booster this ship turn up to be very dangerous. Republic is actually a good ship. Think of it as a remodeled Kerfers that trades tankiness and health for accuracy and speed. But sadly, in the current T10 sniping meta, how do you actually use that speed? So far I haven't been able to use it well, because having speed means that you can flank. But how do you even flank if there are invisible Shimas everywhere? Shima can take you down in one reload, and your torpedo protection can't stop you to die. Though your AA is strong, Midway Sky Cancer shall still be able to strike you for loads of damage. You get focus fired in standard battles. You can't help your team capture the area in center control. So, its speed is basically useless for most battles. Its greatest advantage is gone. Not only that, the ship itself in a way doesn't seem. I don't know how to say. Authentic. Your power comes from the speed boost and reload booster 3, it makes the ship very gimmicky, coppered to something like Yamato or Montana, that just has good armor and solid guns as a strength. The only way I have found to utilize this ship well is by playing in a good division team. You then have trusted players that can push with you or protect you from Shimas. 
then, and only then, can Republic truly shine. It is capital that you never play alone, an isolated player is it. Now let's sum up all pros of playing Republic first. Best main battery reload speed among tier 10 battleships. Second. Extremely good dispersion, excellent main battery range and ballistics, along with high sigma, make for reliable long-range gunnery. Third. Large caliber, high penetration and high velocity AP shells that can overmatch 30mm armor. Fourth. Goody shells, nice damage and good fire chance powerful secondary armament with the best range in the game. Fifth dot, very strong AA defenses. And last. The Citadel is well armored and protected by a turtleback. And has access to the Reload Booster 3. Thank you for watching this long. I hope you will like my remaining game. Please visit next time. Thanks if subscribed. Even not subscribed, thanks for watching. Have a good day.